<clears throat> All right, let's see what's in this box. Hey, Mom, are you okay if I open this box? Okay, here we go. Let's see what's in here. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to try. What do you got this? Well, well, so it's two things. Uh, the cleansers, was it? Uh -huh. And this oh, Mega Man X Lexi Collection. All right, well, now let's, hold on a second. Hey, Larry, you can see us now. Just don't freak out. It is, it is a collection. All right, so in this case, Okay, focus. So yeah, the Switch version. Uh, yes, there are other versions, but I got this one so I can play on the go. And this one can be played on um, two Joy-Cons separately, obviously, on um, both on the go and, and on TV. Nintendo Switch Pro Controller compatible. Hope this thing is, oh, wow, it's not, it's not multiplayer. That's kind of sad, despite that there are actually challenges where you get to, to play as X and you get to fight two bosses, which is kind of insane. I mean, it can depend on the player itself, but but one of them has has an easy boss, so it won't be so it won't be too bad. Anyway, so yeah. Hey, Leo, you can come up. Leo, it's the collection. Shh! Don't freak out! Don't freak out! Don't freak out! All right. Well, here we are. Whoa. So yeah. Oh, wait. Enter sweepstakes to win all expensive pay trips at Tokyo Game Show 2018. Tokyo. Meet the Mega Man developers. Maybe that mean uh, that definitely means KG and Funny. Why would it not mean? I don't, I don't think we're going to go all the way to Tokyo. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. Unless if it's more than just Tokyo. And Mega Man XLC Collection 2. Oh, full game download. So they give us a code. Thank God. <laughs> guys, and plus guys, do not use that code. Uh, I did not use the code if you saw it, but then again, the focus was bad, so I don't, uh, uh, so yeah, there's no way anyone's gonna know that. Oh, hey, a promotion for Mega Man 11. That's kind of cool. Too. Nice, October's the same month of going to a Metallica concert. Okay then, well, yeah, there's this. I can't wait to play some Mega Man X4. Actually, I'm gonna do it first. Oh, it's my game. But I can oh. do it second, right? You can you can do make your own safe make your own safe slot. Anyway, guys, here we go. And well, so here's the cartridge. I thought I'd show you guys. Rated T. Looks like there's something. Looks like there's a bit of vulgarness, which there obviously wasn't a bit in X4. But yeah. What was this rated for? Wait. Oh, right. Oh, blood. Oh yeah, there was a bit of that in in that scene with Dole betraying betraying my character. Anyway, so I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, guys, don't worry about that Netflix thing. Okay, that should be HDMI 3. Nope, hold on, guys. Okay, guys, turns out I ha I just had to, um, I had to, uh, this switch was not plugged in by HDMI, so apparently, yeah, that's yeah, what happened. So I'm actually gonna put this like this, so. So yeah, like that. So anyway, I'm gonna press um, A. Yes, I guess I did take a cartridge out. Definitely, definitely had to be that. I almost thought it was the Odyssey when I got in. And yeah, there's Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Hey mom, come see this. This is awesome. This is, you're about to get real with awesomeness, Mom. Oh, thank you, Classic Capcom, look. Classic Capcom. I swear, guys, this is the first time I've got I bought a copy of of a of a Capcom game. Aside, it, it, well, my family has it. Aside from Street Fighter Five. 
Okay, so yeah, I can press any button. New, no save data, new save was created or save progress. Yes, absolutely do that. Save data created. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at, uh, look at, look how, look how awesome X looks with his armor. Hey, Leo, stop. And then yeah, we got same as claw and his claws. Ooh. This... What the heck? Who is that on the left? Oh, no, no. oh yeah, that's Dr. Doppler. Look, look, oh, look at, look at Iris. Oh, that uh, armor looks cool. Let's see what we got here. Language. Language, make it Japanese. No, I'm gonna, I'm just keep, keep, keep it. Look, I'm fine with what I've got. Besides, besides, I'm, it's probably gonna set up everything and I don't understand other languages. Oh, oh, it's got screen. We got filter, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, CRT monitor, let's do that. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'd say so too. It's it's actually, um, it's actually the be biggest, best it can be without any. Use the controls for each game. Let's see what we got here. Okay, change title. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna bother with the, I'm not gonna bother what's going on here. Oh, ooh. So yeah, it shows everything. That's cool. Let's see, we got, oh, Hunter Mel, let's see. Performance as a Maverick Hunter, let's see, we got it. Defeat any of the eight Maverick bosses in Ingram X. Cut off, oh, cut off Flame Mavis trunk. Knock off his armor, I could do that. Auto signal incoming. Speed isn't everything. Reach bit without a right armor and without the aid of a special weapon in Mega Man X3. I can do that. I can do that too, but sometimes I prefer to kill them. Destroy his MK2 right armor. All units stand by. We got all that stuff. All right. So I'm gonna start off with with the original with the original X X. I'm gonna pause here. Okay, so it has some nice borders. I like the borders it has. Okay, we got Mega Man X. I'm gonna see how well it plays too. So the start button has to be that. Oh my goodness, look at the options. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna make this. Oh yeah, and plus sound test. By the way, guys, zero A is the die sound. Why would you need this collection if you had emulators, though? Uh, so I can play these games on the go. I mean, I I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use my phone emulator with via a keyboard when I'm on a bench. How ridiculous does that sound? Okay, running at a smooth six range per second. Let's see what's going in here. You know, I think I'd probably rather, I think I'd probably find it easier playing this with an arcade stick. I'm not joking. Because the keyboard's easier to mash. Okay, okay, there's a bit of lag there. Probably the emulation, I don't know. Oops, darn it. Ah! You know, I think I'm probably gonna make the R button a dash too. I can't stand mashing this with my thumb. Ah! Darn it, come on. Manual. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Hold on, guys. And you can't use ZR, which is which is kind of stupid.
Hey, was that me or was there a bit of delay? I don't know. Was this was this thing poorly done? Like, I asked to be capped on myself. I know this is not Switch hardware because I've because I've seen because I have seen because because I cause this is Super Nintendo emulation. Why would it, why would the Switch um, run uh, run Super Nintendo games emulate badly? I think mean, it's impossible. This is not like the. You know, I'm actually gonna review these these games. Anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna pause here. All right, now I'm onto this. Currently, I'm using a shoulder button. And to be honest with you, they really should have let uh, uh, should have had should have given the option to have a ZR but Does he have one? The Z on ZR buttons do something too. I think that's really disappointing that they wouldn't give us that. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Okay, let's see, we got a screen size filter, wallpaper. Make it the Mega Man X for one. Yeah. Hey, I like how you can do some different wallpapers, and plus, and plus you can have it off if you just want the black stuff. Oh gosh, why would you do that to yourself? Okay, no, okay, you know, I like the filters, let's do it. After this, I'm gonna do X2. And after this, you can just make up all, make, make as much of a fight as you want. Yes, Va Vial, who is also known as Vava, Vava, or Vava. That's such a weird name. Can you kill Vile in this game? No, you can't. No, I can't. You, you have to. I, ha you have to let him capture you. Yeah, no. You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you think you could defeat me? Well, Let's see what happens you're next. In a suit, Vile. Yeah, you're in a suit. And here comes zero, 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 zero. Anyway, after this, Zero. after oh, I'm so cool with my hair. Yeah, I need to explain that, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. <laughs> and, and you can still hold hold the plus bah, button. Bah, 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 bah. Bah. And okay, guys, that's them enough. Now we're gonna do X2. Oh my gosh, I've realized you could save your game data. Look at this. Oh my goodness! <laughs> anyway, and there, there is this. Okay, so this is Mega Man X2, which, or also oh, Rockman X2. I'm not going to be doing this with the Rookie Hunter mode, since I have played the game before and I know what's going to happen. So, yeah. As you can tell, Capcom logo, Capcom stuff as usual. And I am doing this with the CERT filter, which, yeah, I actually use. But anyway, I am going to be skipping through the opening because I've already recorded that and we don't need to go through all that stuff. And yeah. However, um, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna be doing this without any filter this time. Since, um, well, this time, time to be different. And not to mention that I actually, um, like having, having the L button doing the dash. Now, one thing that's disappointing, uh, if, if I did not mention this on X1, one thing that's disappointing is that you can't use ZL or ZR to do any of those actions on the controls. But hey, it's not too bad. And it's pretty minor and there are much worse issues than that. So I can't be too mad about it. And here I go, once again. The emulation seems to run fine so far. We still got the smoothing, uh, we got still got the smooth movement so far. And as you can tell, Green Biker Dude's about to die. At least that's what he's called. Now you can always skip this that that enemy at any times, and by the way, you're gonna have to be very 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 quick to get through the elevators before they close. And if you don't want to if you don't want to shoot them, that is. Darn. And plus, as you can tell, I accidentally did I accidentally did that. And now while I there, you don't hear any audio from the game. The reason why is because the. Elgato game, Elgato game capture software kind of must have sucked at at the voice uh, feedback because it sounded like echoes. It sounded like I've, if I was Iron Man or something. And but yeah, currently I'm surrounded by these things, which I will get to on my X2 review once I get to that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Not to mention that once again, this is a this is emu this is a Super Nintendo game, and yeah. And there's always that health item. And here we go on to the, well, a very big stage, of course. In the, with this will be the giant mech, mechanoid. If, I don't think I said that right. Well, it's definitely CF10. 
And this one, unlike Vile, if for those that are new to X2, but not new to X1, you actually have to fight this one. And he's actually very easy, which I which I will definitely get to more of it. And currently I'm just making this really basic. You can just go into the wall and it'll just keep jumping. And yeah. But I however I did record a gameplay uh, of showing him more moves and more things that happen and more parts of the stage. And yeah, that's kind of it. But anyway, guys. So that's pretty much it in terms of X2. After that, I'm going to be heading to X3, and like X1, you can't save your game, you don't need to enter the password, if you don't want to memorize password that is. Anyway guys, on to X3. So yeah, I was holding plus to skip those cutscenes. So yeah, if you don't want to, if you want to skip dialogue, you can always hold the start button, and it'll skip. Okay guys, so you just saw what happened, did you? make have, have having me sounding like iron man but yeah so i don't want that to have me like that in my videos because it'll feel really awkward that way but anyway this is x3 unlike in the mega man x collection at least from what i've heard of this is one is the super nintendo version rather than the playstation saturn or pc version yes there's a pc version that has the same music as the playstation 1 version and the saturn version but this music is still still pretty good. Of course, there are some short themes, but that's because of bad, but that's because of not so great composing, and that's kind of disappointing since the composer actually com of this game actually composed Castlevania, a soundtrack that's actually pretty good. I've, I'm sure I've only listened to one theme from it, but it's pretty nice. But anyway, but well, I can give some respect to this one. So this is basically the Maverick Hunter HQ. X1 had the Central Highway, X2 had the Reploid Factory, and this, the Maverick Hunter Headquarters. This seems to be the same place as in Central Highway, but yeah. But anyway, I'm beating these guys right now, and currently, I just beat that one, and for some re and and for some weird reason, my uh, um my, my charge, I I'm, I shoot more powerful shots when I'm literally dashing. Yeah, when I'm not dashing, it doesn't take as much damage as, it, as when I am dashing. But yeah, simple stuff. And, well, we get this guy. Mac. And and basically trap shot stuff like that. So for the dialogue's pretty good. Once again, you can skip cutscenes with the button used for menu. In this case, plus. And X gets taken uh, and for an experiment. Just like in Kamen Rider where this weird Japanese TV show I haven't seen it but I've heard of it where this dude tries to gets um gets into some experiments but he escapes even brainwashed of course but yeah so this is and this is basically a chance to actually play a zero who uses a Z saber which was probably revealed in X2 but it was definitely shown in X3 so yeah basic stuff and currently as you can tell I am currently I'm going through a wall, same stuff, there's still a bit, is there a bit of slowdown? And there's all these things. But yeah. So far, there's not, there isn't much of a slowdown in these games, thankfully. And as you can tell, I'm beating this guy. And my Z-Saber got cancelled, which is kind of lame. Darn. Okay, now I got him. But yeah, after that, there's this. Are you okay, X? Thanks, Zero. I'm okay. Let's your grind headquarters again. Be on your guard, X. <sighs> and that's pretty much it. So, simple stuff. Going through all that, and basically simple as that. And as you can tell, I am going through a sub boss not sub boss but the main boss of the intro stage once again it's pretty easy and i'm just gonna fast forward through it once again i like how you can save your data which is also kind of nice definitely in case you can't memorize in case you don't like memorizing passwords like just like an x1 x2 anyway guys on to x4 this time we're going to the PS1 days. 
as well as other dirty tube consoles, the Saturn and N64, but this didn't release on the N64. Thankfully, we get an official release on a Nintendo system, in the collection, of course. But yeah, this was originally on the PlayStation 1, the Sega Saturn, and wasn't this game also on the PC? I mean, I knew that it was possible to download it on the PC, but I'm not going to bother since I have the Switch version, which I can at least play on the go. I like the remastered text at the um, start of the screen, the title screen. And also the button icons are definitely different too. Definitely a good change, and especially, and it definitely gets less confusing. And, it, and um, yeah. So, yeah. I have actually changed the controls to having ZR to shoot, ZL to dash, and stuff like that. Because it's they're easier to it's easier to mash, and uh, personally I kind of like the, and personally it's just kind of my thing, since I have had experience uh, with um, holding my trot shot while dash jumping at the same time, feels a lot better that way. This one I'm gonna play a zero this time, like I'm, and obviously unlike an X3 you cannot use a Buster shot. I've actually just tried that, but it, but either way he he controls pretty good. He controls pretty well. Doesn't he also double jump as, a, as an upgrade as well? And there comes the the boss of the intro stage, which you, you can't fight now, since... Well, which I can't fight now. I don't know how to fight this guy, so I'm not going to bother. But, yeah. Facing a few things. And, yeah. Bombers, too. I'm starting to wonder what those are called. Then again, disease ever does take some damage, which is definitely something to soften the blow of, of having to go near some uh, to an enemy to, to attack it, which I might, which it might not be too bad for something like Jet Stingray, which I have actually played through and I've actually done very good at that. By the way, guys, the reason why I skipped through that cutscene is because so I could is because you didn't so you don't have to see the terrible acting, or hear it. Well, the cutscene is cool, but the terrible acting, my gosh, the acting is atrocious. It's not even funny. But anyway, well, I'm just going to fast forward here, and we'll be on the next part right after this. Well, no further than Mega Man X Legacy Collection 2, which, um, as you probably saw, I got a code for this part, so you can get it for free, thankfully, and since part of it is physical and part digital, kind of like how the place PS4 version was, was two discs, at least from what I've heard of, maybe that was, I've heard something like that, maybe I'm wrong, but either way, thankfully you can get this for free and it's not too much space. So. But but I definitely do think all eight games would be able to fit in a 32 gigabyte, gigabyte cartridge. But anyway, this is X5. You get a nice logo though, but I'm gonna skip that since I have no time for that. And so as for the intro stage, I'm probably most likely gonna fast forward. Actually, I'm definitely gonna fast forward, despite the amount of time it takes to to, to listen to those message texts. Yikes. And that might be part of not recording footage for the game because it would take so long because of them. So yeah, don't be surprised. But anyway, so yeah, I'm also gonna skip the cutscene as well. And I'm gonna do this as X with the Falcon armor. So here we go. Well, here comes X5. Which by the way, this I wasn't this one the first one to have the auto charging rapid fire? Oh it totally did, didn't it? But yeah. Uh, which I, I definitely appreciate, I because um, since it reduces button mashing when you want to mash something, or well, when you want to mash buttons, which thankfully you don't have to do if, if you have rapid fire on. Like in the extreme games, which by the way are not in this collection, but yeah, not too much not too much of a change between this and the original from what I've encountered so far, as I've only gone through one Maverick, Chris and Grizzly, but I'll get through more later, and I might actually make a quick review, thanks to the fact that... Um, there are those awful text messages from the character Alia, as you can see in the bottom left of the wallpaper, 
who looks like she's wearing tight pants or something. Ooh, but yeah. And after that, we have X6, which um, this time has X in the Falcon armor. And as you can tell, once again, has the auto charge and rapid fire and stuff, which by the way, I've actually went through one Maverick that was actually very tough, which was um, Rainy Turtloid. Who, by the way, um, actually, well, he wasn't too hard. He, he, I was, he was easy to figure out his pattern, but darn, he, it was so slow. And, I, and after that, I went through Middle Shark Player, which was a ho which had a horrible stage. I don't even think I don't think and it would take too long for me to review. I believe so, since to have, or at least to record footage of the entire thing. Since I died so many times, I, I, oh my gosh, it's so it's so irritating. Like even for a game that's supposed to be hard, should it really have to be that hard? Like this is like this is even worse than any stage in X1, X2, or X3, in my personal opinion. But yeah. And after that, we have X7, which is on the PlayStation 2. This time, well, this is basically the first game, uh, uh, the first Mega Man X game to launch on the PlayStation 2. Maybe I'm wrong, but definitely the first uh, of the original trilogy. And basically, it combines 2D elements with 3D elements. It's um, some parts having 2D, some parts 3D. And the execution is not, it's, it's not very good, ex okay, well, maybe not execution, but it's definitely ugh, the 3d in this game well it may, it may not be the bad part but the but the way they did it was not very good and that's kind of disappointing when you compare it to to um super mario 64 super mario galaxy and ocarina of time and stuff like that and yeah that is not a way to, to start off like that they could have done a bit better especially despite that i've heard there i've heard Mega Man legends had better 3d than that anyway on to x8 which this time it's a lot better than X7. So yeah, this is basically X8, also on the PlayStation 2 and P actually on, also on PC. That was the it was the original platforms. Same for X7, which I've heard actually got a Korean release, which was and actually it didn't really I don't think it released in the US, did it? But moving on, this game is so much better in X7 in every way. Also, once again, load times are very fast. But yeah, this game is better in every way, from gameplay to controls, or to um to fighting to voice acting, especially. In fact, I can, I'll definitely show you those later. And um and the boss battles are and this time Axel can actually rapid fire by default. And this time, rather than different story modes, you get to do any stage as either X Zero or Axel. So that's kind of a nice feature. I'll definitely have to say. So basically. Um, the good thing, the, the bosses are actually quite simple. However, I'm going to tell you right now. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to tell you right now. Uh, in case of spoiler alert for X8. Especially for people that are new to the game. Which um, might be plenty of people. Which is kind of a sap disappointing. Thankfully, we got the X collection. Which can make all games equally popular. Hopefully, people play the X games as much as the others. Okay, maybe not X7. I Not many people like those. But that's not many people. But that's not many people that, that say that have actually played it though un until the X collection but yeah but anyway so yeah so much better in every way better gameplay better boss battles better um better um okay well good music still but uh, definitely better voice acting in fact i'm going to show you some lines right now because this is this is really good sorry to keep you waiting zero how you been holding up barely broke us away Come on, let's go. Nice to meet you, Hunters. My name is Lair. My specialty is analyzing enemy abilities. I hope I can be of use. Hi, I'm Palette. I'm good at analyzing routes and stages. I don't suppose I need to say it, but I, Alia, will also assist you. <clears throat> so what do I think about this game? Or collection, should I say? Well, pretty cool, actually. In fact, I like how it has all, all four games, even though some of them mostly suck for most people. At least for most people, I haven't played the entire X7 or X6 yet, but I will definitely get to them. And I might actually try to get footage for X1, at least those don't have those annoying text messages and all that stuff. But yeah. But anyway, I also like how it has the Day of Sigma, which I will show you right now. Don't move! <sighs> Commander Sigma! X, zero. It looks like the enemy was using the security system here to control the mechanoloids. So that must be how they managed to camouflage their location. They knew it would take a while to trace. I also like how it has the gallery, which um, has a lot of pictures. In fact, and let's not forget that um, 
the, that there are even the th the um, shots that were in the X5 intro in high quality. And yeah, there are a lot of things, even some personalities about the characters, or what they are, and stuff like that. I'll actually mention the, their what what the, what they can do and something some stuff about them in my reviews as well. Let's not forget that you can also play music as well. They even have trailers that even showed footage for, for, for uh, showing what the games were originally going to be like. Like this one for X1. Also, there's even a gallery where you can look at images, some of them being in very high quality. You should definitely take a look at the gallery if you have the game. Well, guys, what do I think? Really good. In fact, like seriously, guys, I would definitely recommend this collection if you want to play at the Mega Man X games on the go via the Switch. In any way, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to be tuned for my other reviews coming up, such as Mega Man Extreme 1 and 2. And there will be much more than that. There will even be the rest of the X series. Anyway, guys, see you guys next time. Peace.